it's funny how um, the two stories almost parallel each other. When dad started in 1969, you can't do it. You can't win. Family runs school. You got the job because your dad's the coach. You can't, you can't, you can't. And of course, 0 and 10 the first year. And then the rest is kind of history. Similar story with Ed and Dad. You know, the local media, nobody's gonna watch a high school show. This is a this is a New Orleans Saints town. This is LSU, this is Tulane. They're not gonna care about high school sports. And if they would have listened, both guys, if they would have listened to the people that told them what they couldn't do, this show is non-existent. And and because of their fortitude, because of their ability to showcase not just the players, but the cheerleaders, the dance line, the band members, grandma, grandpa, aunts, uncles, brothers, sisters. Everybody has an opportunity to get a chance to watch their kid. And ultimately, that's what we want. We want to see our kids doing positive things. And uh, that's what Ed and that's what Dad have been able to bring. I can't tell you how many times, of course, I, I look a lot like my dad. And, and people walk up to me and say, I, I know you're not JT. You're probably a little bit too young to be JT. But man, your dad called my son out on Friday Night Football. Or hey, your dad uh, called me out on Friday Night Football. And it's funny, it's now watching generation after generation talk about that. Talk about, you know, you see the dad on Friday Night Football. Now the son and now it's the grandsons that are that are playing Friday night football and this is what it's about it's a community it's a community of people we know Louisiana football is really good and we know we know that we have great players but we have great kids too and what Ed did and what, and what my dad has been able to do over this last bunch of years is just it's just uplift the community I mean through Katrina through Ida through COVID through all of these different things the, the kids are what was most important to them and and to make sure that the show went off and exactly what Jeff said you guys are, are here. What an awesome uh, responsibility that we have to continue this in his honor and in his memory and then push forward through this Friday Night Football this year. A lot of truth in what they both just said, Coach. Well, as I said before, they grew up with that Daniels. They, they saw how he developed his show and the impact that it had, not just in their life, but in the life of the people they competed against. And through all those years, they've recognized the importance of, of, of saying positive things about the young people in our community. And of course, Thursday night in St. Charles Parish, Destrahan and St. Aug scrimmage. Head coaches Robert Valdez and Marcus Scott discussed Ed Daniels' impact with WGNO's Mark Dean. It's going to be daily miss, man, because as a young boy, you know, you just remember um, just running home to see Friday Night Football and the memories. And bigger than that, when I got to West St. John, I kind of found out how much him and his wife were doing in the community and the things that, you know, Laurie DuPont was telling me how they were coming in and, and providing, you know, just free tutoring for the kids. And then just throughout the whole time. And, um, and when he called me when I left to go to Grambling, he said, man, look, you're going to be missed. And uh, when I got back, I got a phone call, said, man, I'm, I'm so excited, you know, said this is where you belong and hopefully this is where you'll stay. So, um, you know, my heart goes out to his family and, 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 and the condolences and, uh, and he'll be missed. I mean, it's going to be some very, very tough shoes to follow, but uh, just what he, the impact that he made on just not only my life, but so many lives, you know, just uh, hopefully that we can do our part as high school football coaches to continue the mantra of just, you know, love and, you know, support and, and being able to provide a voice for those who didn't have one. Ed Daniels is a one of a kind. I mean, he he's really one of the pioneers of prep sports here in the in the city, really in the, in the entire region. And it's a huge loss for for prep sports, not only as as a sportscaster but also as a, as a person. Ed Daniels was a Rummel grad, but loved covering the entire Catholic league, including the Brother Martin Crusaders. Head coach Mark Boney spoke about his fondest memories and interactions with Ed Daniels. Not a whole bunch of things have frazzled me. Not a whole bunch of things have upset me. This, losing Mr. Daniels here uh, way too soon, it has, uh, it's, it's really, uh, it's, been, it's been a tough time for me. And, uh, you know, like I said, uh, for me, it's, you know, I hope that it, it's been great listening to all the people celebrate all the great things he's done. I think that's very important uh, that we do that and celebrate, uh, and that's the key term, celebrate all the things that he's done for football, for all the other sports, um, for the, the, the young men and women of, uh, you know, uh, in high school sports all around the state. And I tell you what, he always looked out for us. Anytime we, uh, this, this, is, this is true, anytime, uh, anytime uh, there was a blown call in the game, he would send us videos like, you were right, you, you know, uh, you know that, that, uh, you're absolutely right about that call, but this is what I'll tell you. We're, I'm not going to tell you the team, um, but we were playing, we were playing a, a big game and uh, he told us a couple things, make sure you're ready for this and send us some film of those things to make sure we were ready for, for that game. And uh, there's a couple of things that he helped us out on, you know, and he, he always made sure we were, you know, we were, we were prepared. 
And of course, Brother Martin scrimmage Covington this week. Ed has covered generations of Salters from Jack Salter to current Covington head coach Greg Salter. He was a pioneer in uh, shining a spotlight on, on all the kids, not only in our area, but throughout the state of Louisiana. And then it became not only for football, but for all sports. So uh, we'll always appreciate him for that. You know, and, uh, you know, I was speaking about him the other day. The one thing I say, uh, the word that I like to use for him is a class act. And I use that because that was something uh, he and my grandfather, Jack Salter, were really good friends. And he used to always refer to my grandfather as a class act, you know, or just class personified. And uh, it takes one to know one. So I, I just thought Ed was one of the classiest guys that I knew. Whenever he would call, I always felt like uh, he, he made you feel like your team was his favorite team. You know, he'd always call and ask how the Lions and uh, or how the Lions are going to be. And I'm sure he did that with everybody else. But uh, very welcoming. And uh, we appreciate him very much. I can remember running home after games, trying to see myself on highlights, and I would pick on him and say, Mr. Ed, you, you never showed any of my highlights. And he said, well, you know, you might want to look in the mirror. There probably wasn't any highlights to show, but uh, I'm sure there's an archive somewhere of my one one highlight. I don't know. But, uh, but yeah, we all raced home. And, look, as coaches, we still would run home and, and, and listen to Friday Night Football and hear what he had to say about your team because, again, when he said it, uh, whatever he said, he meant, and, and it was important, and, and you valued, you know, the, uh, the critique uh, of your ball club.